Okay, like I said last time, we're going to now see how you apply that straightness tolerance for a particular you know, use case. So right here you see we have a size tolerance and then we want to make sure that this top surface is straight. We want to make sure that top surface is straight. Now, this straightness tolerance does not affect this plane right here, this one right here, or this one right here. It only controls that top surface. Also, all of our annotations are in one plane. So this is my annotation plane. If I had anything else I needed to do, I would put it in that same plane. And my future control frame is applied with a leader, and it will go down to a arrow, which will be touching a line. And that line will be directed along the line I want it to be straight in. So in this case, I want it to be straight in this direction. It's also saying that I don't care about this direction. That one I don't care if it's straight in. I only want it to be straight in the direction I have specified. I can also do this in orthographic view. In this case, my feature control frame can be attached with a leader, um, or it can be attached with an extension line. In either direction, this will tell me what direction I want the straightness in. I want the straightness in that direction. I don't want the straightness in that direction. That's not correct. It is based on which plane I'm looking at it from. So this guy is actually pointing in the same direction I want its straightness from. My straightness tolerance symbol is actually pointing in the same direction I want my straightness. So be very careful about that because if you apply it in the wrong view, you're actually applying it incorrectly, even if it's still attached to the same surface. They do different things. We can also apply straightness to a cylinder. However, we can only apply it in one direction. It has to go along the axis, otherwise things just get very, very weird. So just like last time, feature control frame is applied with a leader line, which goes to an arrow. And that straightness symbol will be pointing in the same direction I want my straightness to be applied. And all of our annotations are going to be on one plane, and it has to pass through the axis of my cylinder. I can do something very similar to um, an orthographic view. Now when I'm controlling the surface of a cylinder, and this is very important, there is no diameter symbol on the tolerance value. I'm going to apply it without that diameter symbol because it means something very different when I apply that diameter symbol. I'll go from applying it to the surface where I'm just controlling all these straight elements on the surface to I'm um, actually controlling straightness variations of this axis right here, my drive median line. We'll get to that in just a moment. Now, straightness is independent of variations on other elements. So the top has to be straight, the bottom has to be straight, but I do not mind if the bottom varied a lot you know, in one direction and the top varied a lot in another direction it doesn't actually matter as long as it doesn't break my size tolerance. So like, maybe my form tolerance for straightness is 0 0.003. It doesn't matter if at the top I go up 0 0.003 and down zero. At the bottom I go down 0 0.003. We're like, well, that's 0 0.006. No, because these are separate line elements. They have to pass individually. As long as all of them pass, they're good, but we don't connect them. We don't take the max of one to the minimum of another. It just doesn't work like that. Each line element gets its own tolerance, and it has to pass with that tolerance. Don't worry about connecting them together. Now, surprisingly enough, you can also use a cone or straightness on a cone. Um, and just like last time, the cylinder, it only makes sense for it to go in one direction. That would be up the surface of the cone. However, that does not control the angle relative to the axis. It could still be perfectly straight and be have a horrible angle, like right here. That surface is fairly straight. And it would pass this form tolerance, but the angle is horribly off. So you would have to control the angle with a profile tolerance, which we haven't gotten to yet. Now, in these case, cases, um, the feature control frame would be applied to an extension line or a leader line, to a straight line, which is tangent to the cone. This is the way I would prefer you do it, because otherwise it can look a bit wonky. 
So that's it for this time. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you all next time as we continue to learn about strange tolerances. Have a great day.